Okay, so here we are at the fish. It's not a fashion contest, you see. Anyway, we're way out deep, and it's a foggy day, and, uh, can you see the fish hut? Anyway, it's not a fashion contest, as you can tell. Don't you just love that? <laughs> anyway, uh, we're here. We're just getting set up. We put the hut out here last night, and, uh, this is it. And there's guys roaming around here and there. Not sure if you can see everybody. There's these guys here. They're looking like they're getting ready to leave. And, uh, anyway, here we are. I'll, um, get back to you if we get any fish. And, uh, until then, I'll give you a quick tour of the hut. So, my husband built this hut really awesomely, I might add. Uh, make sure you always have lots of reflectors. Lots of reflectors is good. Anyway, there, that's in case a hut is going a million miles an hour on the lake at night. Well, not you know what I mean. And can see it with the headlights. There is the solar charger for the battery that's inside the hut. We put nice big handles on the sides of the hut so that it can be easily moved around by two people. My husband made this four feet wide so it could fit in the back of his truck, no problem, in case we couldn't get out on the ice with sleds and a sleigh to move it around. See, more handles on this side, more reflectors. Reflectors are really, really important. So anyway, we have a couple huts here. I jokingly call these the takeout windows. Can we see if the takeout window works? Can you open that there? There he is. Hi. A cheeseburger and uh, onion rings. <laughs> That's my husband. <laughs> That's Johnny. Hi. Hi. Anyway, this is, um, if you can tell, yesterday when we got the hut out, we're looking at uh, at least a foot and a half to two feet of ice. And that's some of the chunks that came out between the new auger holes. These are the hole covers. A nice light aluminum shovel is what we recommend to uh, set up the hut, bank the hut. Very important you bank the hut. You see all the snow I shoveled around the sides of the hut here to insulate it, keep it warm, keep the wind from blowing through, keep the holes open. It's a very good thing to do. And we're going to look inside the hut here. We have two holes. One, two. John's fishing in one of them right now. Hi, John. He's looking at his, uh, he's not impressed I'm filming, but uh, there's, there's one of my killers that I like to use. I have a hook bonnet on it, but I've put a red hook on this. Here's um, his fish finder. It's a Lawrence. Lawrence, however you want to pronounce it. And uh, the hut is well insulated with lots of uh, aluminum clad styrofoam. We have windows on each end. That one's not open yet. We don't have the fire on. That's our little stove. We can cook on it and it's also a source of heat. And uh, here's my window over the door. We made these so that they slide with a little scrub in between that's made of carpet. Works pretty well. We have these things ready to go for tip-ups. Even though we haven't got the tip-up set up right now, we don't have any minnows. We just, this is the maiden voyage of fishing. So anyway, John's all set up with his fishing stick. You're allowed to two um, stacks or two lines in the water at all times. We don't like to use fishing rods in the hut. Do you want to tell them why? Busy. Oh, he's busy. He's, he's thinking about catching fish. Anyway, we don't like to use rods in our hut because it just makes too much. It's just too much, you know, it's for us. If you get a fish on, you got to play with the rod and oh, it's just a pain in the butt and you end up pulling it up by hand anyways. I have quite a few stickers here. Don't move wood because of the emerald ash borer and the Asian longhorn beetle. And 
never release aquarium plants, waters, or animals in the water. It's illegal to catch these silly gobies, which are everywhere in the lake now, quite an invasive species. And uh, yeah, don't dump your bait bucket. So anyway, we'll get back to you if anything happens. We'll talk to you in a bit. Dorsey Gal O. Please subscribe and like. And if there is a bell, hit the bell and then you'll get notifications every time I put a video up. Okay, thanks. Bye.